Oh, well, welcome to the Cambridge Jets Duo <laughs> podcast number seven. Literally, Eric just joined the call, and I yep. have to do this because I have Colts game in, you know, yeah, I'm trying to show my shirt. I was I was using the bars as, like, pull You can just do this. Oh, yeah. Freaking. Yeah. It's number 12. It's Andrew Luck. Yeah. yeah. Um, in an hour, exactly. And... Yeah, <laughs> you know, we actually have a lot of stuff that we can talk about this time instead of just rambling about nothing uh, last time like we had to do. Sure. I mean, we didn't. Open the document. I didn't, at least. Um, there I didn't many, look at CES Yeah, stuff, I know. So. You, you almost never. If you put topics, it's usually like one. Like something that stands out to me. <laughs> it's one. <laughs> like... But yeah. most of the time, we just join the call, and you're like, "Oh, so what do you what do you have here today? What'd you get from last week? You're a pumpkin. <laughs> what the heck? I thought you had to be an animal. In the Google document, you're an anonymous oh. pumpkin. Okay, you're a pumpkin. I'm not an animal anymore. What the heck? <laughs> it's like, oh my That's gosh, weird. and you don't look very happy. You're like a pumpkin that has like a carved face, and you're just like. Yeah. <laughs> you're not like frowning, yeah. but you're just sort of like, just a straight line. Oh, okay. Like. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, there are many things here. There are many things actually happened instead of the freaking what happened last time, where basically nothing happened whatsoever. The whole like you know we just had to talk about nothing because no games came right. out. No, <laughs> nothing happened. So uh, yeah. Yeah, I mentioned this last time. Yeah, I mentioned the TV last time. I was about to point that out. Dude, it's so freaking awesome. Oh, uh, I'm TV Stack. You can call me Teddy. This is Eric. He's yeah. my co-host. We're both... Also known as uh, Legend PVM. Yes, we, we host this podcast every week. Because why the poop not? We don't have much time to make any other videos, and I like talking about this stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, let's see here. So, mate, I was going to give you, I was going to read the Game Informer and, like, the uh, the Uncharted oh, yeah. 4 the, scoop, uh, the and then scoop. I was literally going to give you my Game Informer subscription, and you could read it, too, but it's too late for that. I just finished reading it last <laughs> night, to be totally honest. So, let's just talk about it. Let's just, I, I'll, I'll explain, I'll tell you some stuff here, to take a look at it. Okay. He's beautiful. A picture of, uh... He's a beautiful man. Look, look at his ear! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But seriously, holy crap. I wish I could, like, uh... Oh, you should just man. summarize the, uh, scoop. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, we got time. I'm just gonna freaking scroll through right. this and, like, summarize Damn. each paragraph. Uh, Nathan Drake has been a thrill seeker. Blah, blah, blah. Um, do, do, do... Well, I know that it starts off with him going back to his love... Let's see. Yeah. His love wow. Interest. They, uh, but see, this is also a lot of, like, interviews with Naughty Dog. Like, it's not like, uh, uh. they, yeah, it's not like they played a special demo, but this is, a lot of this is, like, just them talking to them. It says, like, right. and reflecting. It says, like, nearly 10 years have passed since Naughty Dog first started work. I just realized that I didn't test this. So if I didn't have time to test it, I just freaking started it. So if, something is different than usual then we're screwed and we'll lose an hour oh. of footage so sh you know no no we're just gonna just gonna okay. go <laughs> it's just gonna go i don't i don't have time what if you are you what if you accidentally were streaming this and you're like oh, oh wait. gosh but see no i record <laughs> local stuff through obs and stream through xsplit so that's not even ah, like okay. possible let's see here um, do, do, do. Yeah, nearly 10 years have passed since Naughty Dog first started work on the Uncharted series. Drake's Fortune launched in 2007. Man. As an early PlayStation 3 title. Um, do, do, do. They're talking about how uh, The Last of Us came out very recently on PS3 and then 4. Yeah, uh, shipping, shipping The Last of Us on PS4 was a huge uh, leg up, says Naughty Dog co-president Evan Wells. It was critical, we learned so much, and it was... A much bigger task than we anticipated. It was instrumental for getting ready for Uncharted 4. So, making the port of The Last of Us really good. helped. Uh, 60 FPSs? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh my gosh. 
I want it so badly. I wish I could find the tweet. Like, uh, I think it might have actually been Evan Wells, but one of the big guys at Naughty Dog said, like, after they had finished porting it, they're like, I'm never oh going gosh. back to 30 <laughs> FPS. I understand now. It might have been Neil Druckmann. I kind of want to find it. <laughs> We're going to spend a couple seconds finding this. Twitter, Naughty Dog. If this works, Google is the most beautiful thing on, on Earth. Oh, snap. Here it is. Maybe. Maybe. Well, oh, man. I'll be so impressed with myself if I did this. Um, <laughs> really? If I found it, like, this quick. Because it's, like, just one tweet from one of the Naughty Dog guys, like, months ago. Right. I mean, you can't, I believe you can just type in the yes. words that were in the... Okay, the it's a guy named uh, Christian Gearling, and he this was tweeted this was tweeted last freaking July. So I'm MLG, but I found it in an article. It says, uh, "In less than thirty days, you will also be able to enjoy hashtag The Last of Us." Oh wow, it popped up here. Yeah, hashtag The Last of Us hashtag remastered at a mind blowing 1080p at 60 fps. Hashtag no joke. Boom. <laughs> We both we have no worked joke. hard to remove drops so that the experience should be constant 60 fps. Oh, that's not the tweet I was looking for. I was yeah, looking for when like, they said like it's beautiful or something. It might have been um, Neil Druckmann. I don't know, but basically they were like, "This is the best thing ever." <laughs> so I would be so happy if Uncharted 4 was in 60 fps. Holy yeah. fucking balls! Okay, I honestly think it will. I think they're going to try their hardest to. I think they'll. Get that. Mm. If they can do that with Uncharted or The Last of Us, why can't they do that with Uncharted 4? Because they had a year has to... to work on the last, an extra year. The Last yeah. of Us took like three years to develop, then they got an extra year to port it and make it 60 FPS. They just have three on Uncharted 4. That's why. <laughs> you can't just, you know. It's just facts. That's why I, they can't. They're, that's why it would be more than likely for them not to have it at 60. I don't see why not. <laughs> because they have three years where The Last of Us had four. Okay. You need extra time to do that. Yes. Yeah. So that's why. Doesn't mean they still can't do it. Well, yeah. I mean, it doesn't mean they can't, but I'm saying... They can delay it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's true. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, as of right now... That would be the reason why it wouldn't, yeah. like, it probably wouldn't be 60 if it isn't. Let's see here. Uncharted 4 has been brewing ever since the third game ended. A small team broke off to create some core concepts and prototypes. So, yeah, Uncharted 3 ended, and people broke off, and they started making what they thought the game would be. And then eventually Amy Hennig, the lead writer, left naughty dog and oh. the freaking lead yeah. game director left naughty dog this happened like last year so neil Druckmann and uh, bruce straley went over to start working on uncharted 4 so i i'm not sure what all happened there i'd really like to know but yeah. uh something happened something. but it doesn't seem to really affect it that much like from what we saw in the gameplay demo at playstation experience right. and what we've heard about the story it I don't, I don't know. It seems like it's going to be fine. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what happened there, but uh, I'd really like to know. Um, yeah, when we pushed on to The Last of Us, we were really trying to push wider environments and give the player more choices. So they said this was our earliest discussion for Uncharted 4, so they were trying to do that, but, you know, um, Uncharted 4 is very much a different type of environments and all. It's, like, tropical and, like, big open islands. But you still want to keep it linear instead of making it just this island that's open world. So they, yeah. like, you know, like at PlayStation Experience, the demo, there were, like, all these different paths and way to go and bushes and, like, hills right. that you can climb. And that that's what they're going for, really, trying to make okay. it more diverse. Let's yeah. See. Give you more options of where to go. Yeah, which really looked like they did it well. Like, the, that freaking, that level looked really good. Like, just design... It looked awesome. Do to do. A lot of things got scrapped and rethought. 
with that we've come out with something that can retain all pacing that gives you a better sense of the adventure and exploration and we can also get the problem solving and engagement of the player movement moment to moment better than ever before better than ever before hmm. game of the year let's see here <laughs> um yeah, and then they go they go on to oh, here here's some stuff about the story. 3 years after the events of Uncharted 3, Drake has finally settled down with his wife Elena. Oh, yeah. snap. At the start of Uncharted 4, <laughs> Drake is just trying to live a normal quiet life, but he's pulled back into his old ways when his older brother Sam reenters his life. All this time Drake oh. thought Sam was dead, but the reunion isn't a relief. Sam brings trouble with him as his life depends on finding an artifact from one of the most successful pirates in history, <laughs> Captain Henry Avery. So, yeah. Pirates. Sam, a.k.a. Yeah, uh, yeah Sam, Sam is Troy Baker's character. Yes. It's awesome. Um, oh, you know, something actually worried me. All this article is, like, really positive, and I'm just like, yeah, it's so cool, but then one sentence really was uh, really worrying. Let's see here. Um... Every treasure has its cost, Druckmann says. They're all, you know, hinting at the thieves and blah, blah, blah. Um, uh -huh. The adventure takes Drake and Sam into Libertalia, a mythical Madagascar colony purportedly founded by pirates. It's like an island. Um, you're not going to spend the whole game on this island but we, because we were concerned pacing and showing other things. But even on the island, you're going to see a lot of different environments and locations, snow and tropical and all that i would say sand but that doesn't physically make any sense but you know right. let's see here i would say it because that's what they worked yeah. on so much in three the sand looked beautiful oh yeah because there was like desert part yeah there was there was, I'm, i was gonna say half probably a little less than half of the game was like in that environment yeah um, yeah, like, he goes out of the plane and lands there, and he has to uh -huh. walk a bit, and it, it, it looks so good. Um, and then they did the same with snow in, in two. So I feel, and I guess you can say tropical stuff in one. So I guess they're, maybe they're combining them all together. Oh. To work as one. <laughs> Mushing around. The Avatar of Islands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Avatar of Islands. For Drake, it's, it's a difficult thing, says Nathan. Sam is a mysterious part of his past. Up to this point, we had no idea he had a brother. Um, they went on, they started talking about how, like, Sam brings out a lot of stuff that we didn't know about Drake. We kind of dive into his past, which is awesome. Um, family is complicated, blah, blah, blah. Oh. <laughs> okay, here's the um here's the thing. Here's the sentence that I didn't like. It says Gosh dang it. Naughty Dog isn't confirming much about Elena and Sully's role, but in quotes, you've seen Elena and Sully in the previous three games. It's safe to say they might make an appearance. That's it. An appearance? Is that all we get? Oh, I'll flip this free keyboard over right now if I have to. <laughs> like, I read that and I was like, an appearance? No, that's not okay. They need to be freaking main characters. They are main okay, characters. Well, Sully is freaking I don't want freaking Sam old. because Troy Baker is, everyone loves Troy Baker and he's going to freaking take over their roles. No, I don't want that. And everyone, and I bet even if that did happen, Sully everyone would be like, oh, I'm okay with like that. Not. What? Give him some leeway. Sully probably broke his leg or something. Maybe. By tripping, <laughs> just <laughs> just walking on the street, not yeah, even on an adventure. His, he adventures. was walking up Drake the stairs to Drake's apartment or something. He's oh, I broke my leg. <laughs> no, <laughs> that would be horrible. But that would gotta be comical. Um, <laughs> oh. Okay, my guess of as to what they would do that would make this okay is they have it sort of like they did with three where when they say appearance, they also mean main characters, as in, like, with Drake. So I think maybe at the beginning, like, okay, Uncharted 3, I'm not sure if you watch, you should have, you, you didn't get a chance to play it, but you should, like, watch I'll somebody play through it. played a good bit of it. Okay. But I, like I'm still just saying, you should probably it play, like, through what you haven't seen. But, uh, yeah, you know, like... 
I right now, this is why I really want a like a trilogy. Dude, like, I would love that. I'm PS4. serious. I would play through all of them and try and platinum it. Like I, I'm not even like I got <laughs> kind of close to platinuming Uncharted Three, and I was working on it, but I freaking I played one or two. I played two. I I did not play one. I like two a lot, but I didn't play I one just because I didn't have it. I heard one was the worst of the three, of course. But um, yeah, because it's the first one. <laughs> two, like just out of progress, three is better than two. So I would assume that. I just think that's weird because like, okay, in out of all the games, game trilogies or series I have played, like. You, and you're always like really. Yeah, I like doing about things in doing order. Doing everything in consecutive order. Yeah, it's just that things. like, I, I it's just the way it happened because I mean I didn't yeah. really have a choice when I got my PS3. Literally when I got my PS3 for Christmas, it came with Black Ops and Uncharted 2. So I just and that and I was really young, so I just played yeah. Uncharted 2 because I didn't really. Okay. I didn't know any better. I was just like, oh, I'll give this a shot. And I did, and I really liked it, and I bought three when it came out, so I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons. I would love to go back and, you know, just play one, just because. But, um, just because three. <laughs> uh, <Yeah. laughs> but, uh, I want that. I really think it's going to happen. I don't, I think that will happen. I think it'll just be a while, but I think that's got to happen. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe after Uncharted Four, when they either think of a new project yeah. or something. I, if I have another team over here oh, doing. Yeah. I wish they. I, I like wish it. it would be out. Like I wish they would sell, like, the collection, or no, in a dream world they could sell four, and then they can sell the collection like three months after, six months, at, you know, around there, yeah. and then everyone could jump back into that and it'd be great, but. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I really would love for it to happen. But um, that would be great. But oh yeah, what I was saying yeah. about like Elena and Sully is I think it's gonna what the best way that they could do it would be to be like in three. At the beginning, you got you got um, you got Chloe, you got Sully, and you got Cutter, and you got them for like quarter of the game. And then, but Sully's there almost the whole game. That's the thing. I think maybe that'll be like how it is with Sam. Sam will be there like almost the whole game. And I'm fine with that yeah. as long as Sully and Elena are there for like half. Maybe a little less than half. I'm okay with that. Like as long as like they're there at the beginning, they're there at the end. There's still a constant thing, but Sam and him go off on a, rela on a, on a relationship, yeah. on an adventure and all that. They're relevant. They're just not yeah. Yeah, it, like, yeah. Uh, you know, I think a main reason they're doing this is because we, we haven't heard of Sam before. Okay, his brother, let's go. Yeah, I would be... <laughs> you're breaking and up again, flashback. but I can still hear you. But, um, I really would like for them to... <laughs> the face that you get stuck on right now. There we go. But, um, I would really like for... Like, I'd be okay with that if they did that. If they had them be in there, but yeah. just not as much, and it just, I don't know. I But they still need to be in there. I, don't, I When they say make an appearance, I highly doubt that they'll just, like, I don't know, show up at a well, cutscene in the scene beginning. <laughs> then, flashback. Yeah, no, I highly <laughs> doubt that'll be it. I, I feel like Naughty Dog knows what's up. They're freaking Naughty Dog. They, they, they got this. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is what Troy Baker said about Sam, his character. In quotes, it says, "There's something that happens when you see that younger brother. Yeah, brother, that's uh, that's just a little bit more charming than you, a little bit more better looking than you, a little bit more talented sure. than you, can run faster, jump higher, better than jump higher, better than you. That's Nate. I think before Nate, Sam was the golden child. In reality, anything Sam can do, Nate can do better. But I don't think Sam would ever acknowledge that. So." Is uh, bound to be plenty of uh, <laughs> sibling rivalry. Competition. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. You can find some more some of the more humorous moments in the dialogue, uh. forming from brotherly rivalry as the pair explore together. One of the things that we've been having a fair amount of fun with is just the way that siblings treat each other. So basically, it's you know like banter while they're adventuring, kind of like. Uh, right. Nice banter, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's see. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, yeah. Even Sully doesn't know everything about Nathan Drake, so this was an entrance into that. There are things that Drake doesn't talk about, but having someone else there that knows those things give us the opportunity to poke at them and get them out. I am so freaking excited for this game, I don't know what to do with myself. (laughs) Getting it out helps, but, like, it also is like, oh, my gosh, I just want to play this. I just want to play it. Just want to play it. Okay. Um, Let's see. Then they go and start explaining about the E3 demo. We've talked, or not E3 demo, the PlayStation Experience demo, and we talked about that. Oh, here's something that's cool. As for the puzzles that require you to move things around to open doors and rooms, those are still a part of the Uncharted experience. The puzzles in Uncharted 3 were some of the best puzzles that we had in regards to scope and being approachable, but still making you think, says co-lead game designer Kurt Margenu. Yeah, sure. We're definitely taking that and continuing forward making sure the player is fully engaged. So, yeah, that's good. Because I really like the puzzles in 3. They weren't, like, freaking... Yeah. They weren't, like, like Portal 2 puzzles where you couldn't... See, I love (laughs) Portal 2 puzzles compared to that. Portal 2 puzzles (laughs) are for specific people, though. You have to think of the portals. You you can't think with, uh, like... But see, that's a puzzle game. I like that in the middle of an action adventure game, they give you a puzzle, but it's not, right. it's not so ridiculously hard that it like jars you out of the experience and you have to sit there for I mean, like we were, two we were, hours. We were, we, you were doing the co-op ones. We were sitting there for at least an hour, just like. Dude, there was one when we did that. We did one that was fine, and then we did another. We did one that was pretty easy, and then we did another. And it was like 10 o'clock, and we were up until like 2, 3 in the morning. We're like, we're going to get we this like, freaking chamber. This. And we got it eventually. We got it. It was good. <laughs> it was some ridiculous thing where you had to have someone on the other side and then yeah, fall was... down for momentum and it fly everywhere. <laughs> but see, I still, like, I, I tell people this all the time. Like, I still haven't beaten Portal 2 because I was just too dumb. <laughs> it got to the point <laughs> in Portal 2 where I was looking up every single room. Because yeah. I, I, I just couldn't figure it out. But, um, yeah. So I like that they're pretty approachable. And like, like in, for example, on, oh my gosh, this was a great day. On, it was like, no, it was in November when this game came out. Uncharted 3 came out. I went to the, oh my gosh, yes, this was, this was great. I had my PS3 in the living room at the time. But I went, and I went to GameStop at 10 in the morning. I got some. I picked up the game. I got some Hardee's bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. I ate them on the way home. I sat down, and it, literally, you know, it's in the living room. I was just used to playing Call of Duty every now and then, and every now and then a couple of games. I wasn't used to marathoning games and playing them all the time like I do now. Right. So I like pulled up a chair in the middle of the. Like normally, I'd like sit on the couch or something, but I pulled up a chair, so it was like right there. And the TV's right there, and I was, like, ready to go. And I I played all day from, like, when I got home, like, 10.30 to 11 until, like, 10 at night. And I was like, all right, sleep, and then I'll finish it in the morning. I got, like, 75% of the way through the game, and then I finished it Gosh. in the morning. It was so great, though. I Like, I got through all the, all the different parts. It was oh, so good. But, like, yeah. I remember around lunchtime. It was so perfect how this happened, though. I, I was playing, and around lunchtime, I got to this one puzzle, and I was just eating my sandwich trying to figure out this puzzle, and I figured it out in, like, 20, 30 minutes, and it was great because <laughs> then I got back to the action. I liked the puzzles a lot. It was a good sandwich, too, Dude, <laughs> if I remember say, correctly. That makes me think, like, Drake's just sitting there eating his sandwich. Hmm, what do I do here? <laughs> <laughs> Picking up the cockroaches off the ground. Yeah. Um, oh, the oh, snap. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So one of the cool things is in Uncharted 3 and 2, like, um, you know, you picked up collectibles throughout missions. That was literally just that. They were extra treasures, and you just, you know, mm. picked them up, and you had one of a hundred. But in this, in 4, you're basically, you're picking them up, but sometimes they'll give you clues for others. So it's just, it's not super complicated, like, 
they're making it like freaking Arkham City Riddler trophies. They're not doing that. Okay. But they're making it so that, like, you pick them up and, like, you can still do what I did, which is after you're done right. with the game, go through on easy and just find YouTube videos and find the spots and go and grab them. But if you're playing through the first time and naturally you find one, sometimes it'll give you a clue for, like, another one. Like, it'll show and it'll give you a map for, like, a cave somewhere and you can go find it, which is really freaking cool. It's a nice yeah. little thing. Um, do, do. And then they start talking about how the AI is awesome. Um, which, like, seriously, the AI, even in the PlayStation experience, looks so cool. The way they talked and the way it all worked and the patrols and the whatnot was just beautiful. Yeah. Um, the, uh, bushes is a new thing. I yeah, believe. the stealth in the bushes. That was great. Like, you, you just sort of, it made, the stealth, the stealth sort of made sense. Like, you just sort of, yeah. you know out in the bushes and you crouch down um ridiculous. yeah like, oh i'm crouching now i'm invisible <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing i've that seen happens. games like that like if you crouch you're pretty much invisible for like a certain like yardage yeah something like that yeah it's weird um oh okay let me find this it says so far the series has featured Oh, wait. Uncharted stories have always focused on historical figures. So far, the series has featured Sir Francis Drake, Marco Polo, and T.E. Lawrence. Lawrence. For Uncharted 4, Naughty Dog wanted to bring the swashbuckling spirit to modern-day treasure, treasure hunters. That's why the writers chose to dig deep into one of the most successful pirates, Henry Avery. So, this is so cool to me, because they, they always pick these historical figures that aren't, like, super well-known, or if they do pick something that's super well-known, they take, like, one aspect of it, and then make their own, like, freaking story right. out of this one small thing that they did in their life, and, like, like with, I remember this one scene in 3, Drake was talking about how, like, Sir Francis Drake sailed from here to here, and it took him six months, and he was talking about how he was such a good sailor, why did he take him six? Why did that take him six months? That should have taken him like two weeks at the most. Why did it take him six months to get from like here to here? And he was like, "Yeah, oh, it's because he was hiding something." So that's part of the game. They go and investigate that spot and all that. Yeah. It's great. Um, they just take like little things like that in actual history and make it make it cool. Like the thing with Henry Avery is, um, like he's not as well known as like of a pirate as like Blackbeard. But right. Naughty Dog considers him the most successful pirate because he says what drew us to Josh Schur says what drew us to do it um, that he is in many ways the most successful pirate ever because he raided this treasure fleet and got away with a haul that in today's money would be worth anywhere between two and four hundred million dollars. Nice. And then probably just retired. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's so cool. Nice. Um, I think this is it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. One more final thing on Uncharted 4. I know we spent a lot of time on it, but it's important. Um, multiplayer. They literally just made me really upset because they titled it. They titled it. Let's see if you can read it. It says, Multiplayer is on the way. That's I, all it I says. It. No, you can't. But, but it says, way. Multiplayer is on the way. And I was like, Awesome. There's going to be something about multiplayer here. And then it just says, Naughty Dog confirmed that multiplayer returns for Uncharted 4 or Thief's End. But the team isn't ready to talk about it. This shouldn't be a surprise as the games have had this component since Uncharted 2 and Naughty Dog views it as a success in the previous entries. That's it. And then they move on to something else. I'm like... Wait, well, it's, it's probably at an early age, early stage then. Yeah, well, I, I don't think it's at an early stage. I think they just want to wait and get people even more excited. Because, I mean, I don't know. The multiplayer in... Three and The Last of Us, and even two, I like two. Like, were so good and clever that they had to. It definitely. They've definitely been working on it for a long time. Right. So, it's. Uh, I, I don't know. They, they definitely had to be work. Had to have been working on it. I just feel like they uh, want to keep people on the edge of their seat mm -hmm. as to what all it entails. I don't know. They also want to keep people focused on the single player, you know. Single yeah. Single player is huge. It could just be. Uh, they're they know that their multiplayer isn't their main aspect of their games. 
Yeah. And they're just like, we'll tell you when we're ready. Yeah. I yeah. really think, though, if they have refined everything, like yeah. like I've said, if they refined everything from The Last of Us in 3 and mm. mixed it into this perfect thing, it would be the best competitive multiplayer no thing heroes, ever. I swear. It would be <laughs> the best thing ever. No be... bows and arrows, please. Oh, I guess. <laughs> I'm fine with the bows and arrows. Give give me and me only I a bow and arrow, swear. and I'm okay with this. <laughs> I hate the bow and arrow from Last of Us because it's it. a two shot kill. I love it so much. <laughs> but the thing is, is they have to sneak up on you. You know, they gotta sneak up on you. You, you gotta can be sneak up pretty well with smoke bombs. Well, you know, you know, it happens. <laughs> I don't know, but dude. uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's all from that article. I just sort of. Went over it. Um, I really, really can't wait for everything yeah, about that game. I want to be able to do single player. I want to be able to get a bunch of trophies. Soon. I want to be able to freaking do... I really want to be able to do the multiplayer. I feel like people are going to be shocked again. Like, every time in Uncharted 3, people right. are like, wow, this is really good. And The Last of Us, wow, this is really good. I feel like this time, a lot more people are expecting it to be good. But they're still going to be like, wow, this is really good. See that's the thing. Yeah. Now that I now that people are expecting it, I feel like it'll be even better, even better. I feel like it's gonna be freaking top notch competitive multiplayer. But then again, I'm hyping this up way too much for myself. Right. So yeah. Um. Yeah. There are there are other stuff on this list other than Uncharted Four, surprisingly. Um, oh yeah, there is. Yeah, there is like other stuff. Ten things. Um. I did want to mention last time when we were discussing Game of the Year. One of my big things for Game of the Year that I really... If I could have made this my Game of the Year, I would have, but there are a couple of things stopping it from being that. Freaking Rogue Legacy, man. I love that game, but one of the reasons why I couldn't was because it's um, it had been out like a year, maybe two years before. No, and, but um, I, I played it on my... I got it on the Vita and the PS4 when it came out. It's cross by. That is the best implementation of cross by and cross save that I've seen. Like, I freaking it's I got like it. Minecraft. No, my it's better than Minecraft because Minecraft okay. is like that with the PS3. This is the oh. four. So, like, uh, I bought Rogue Legacy. I think I might have said this last time, but or I might have just told you. But I I wrote this down because I specifically remembered I didn't mention it. But yeah, what? I played. Uh, what I'm about to say. I played Rogue Legacy like while I was traveling between houses and stuff. I played it like on that couch. Yeah, I sat did. there with this headset. I played it forever, and it was freaking awesome. And then I came back, cross save. There it was on my PS4, and I continued playing it. So it was it was one of my best experiences in a game like this whole year. And but I just you know couldn't make it game of the year. I may have said that, but I remembered later. Like yeah. no, nah, you said something about it last. But it, but when I was counting down games of the year, I didn't even include it. Like, it wasn't in that list. So, uh -huh. yeah, I, I went back and looked. I didn't really mention it. And if I did mention it, it wasn't mentioned in game of the year. So I just you wanted said to that toss you it wanted out again. To, you, wanted, you said that you wanted to nominate it, but you couldn't because it was the year before. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to rewatch that. Uh, but I'm pretty... I thought I didn't. That's why I put it on this list to mention it again. But anyways... It's a I'm great game. That. If you haven't played it, freaking buy it and play it. Um, let's see. Assassin's Creed Dead Kings. Oh, yeah. The DLC. Oh, dang. What did I just do to the Google document? But um, <laughs> the uh, Dead Kings, the first DLC that was originally, you know, for season pass holders and people that, I don't know, buy Dead unity. Kings. was Yeah, it's Unity. Okay. Yeah. It, I need to play that. <laughs> yeah, it comes out on Tuesday, January thirteenth. So, oh. yeah, that's that's a thing. That's a big release date. Um, and it's freaking free. Yeah, it's free to anyone that didn't have the season pass beforehand. So pretty much, if you had Unity, but like when it came out, you have you will have this. Yeah. This. Story and hopefully, thing. hopefully it'll be decent. I feel like the... it'll be decent. Yeah, I'll play it. Yeah, I'll definitely um, jump back on Unity and play it. That's a, that gives me a reason to go back. Right. And we really do need to play some of the um, co-op sometime. Yeah. Co-op is awesome. Co-op's fun. That game is just wonky. Yeah, wonky. That game's freaking wonky. Um, yeah. Oh, dude. 
<laughs> One of the big reasons why I wanted to mention this article is because this article is so, like, freaking, like, MLG. The, <laughs> it's so MLG. Like, the way it, it uh, oh. says stuff is, like, I imagine just, oh! No, okay. But it says, <laughs> um, like, this first paragraph is so legit. It says, like any other game on Earth, League of Legends suffers from lag. Being the biggest game on the planet, though, means LoL can actually do something about it and is launching an yeah. ambitious plan to build its own network. That's pretty amazing. That's a pretty legit paragraph. <laughs> it's like, well, here we go. League of Legends. Oh, you have like, oh, we'll just build our own network. Here, have it. But yeah. um, this yeah. is where they go into a little bit of detail about it. Currently, ISP is focused internet service providers focus primarily on moving large volumes of data in seconds or minutes, which is good for buffered applications like YouTube or Netflix, but not so good for real-time games which need to move very small amounts of data in milliseconds. On top of that, your internet connection might bounce all over the country instead of running directly to where it needs to go, which can impact your network quality and ping whether the game server is across the country or right down the street. This is why <laughs> then this freaking sentence. This is why we're in the process of creating our own direct network for lead traffic and working with ISPs across the U.S. and Canada to connect players to this network. I just wanted to point that out because that's, that's legit. Pretty awesome. That is so, like, you won't have to worry about like someone being in like in Canada, or, like Alabama, and uh, yeah. Like, if if they if somebody in Canada and somebody in Alabama are both connected to like say I don't know Time Warner and do they even have internet I think they have yeah. internet then um I... yeah say they're like in Canada the guys connect Time Warner in Alabama the guys connect Time Warner it'll be freaking great connection in League because it Time Warner itself will have okay. like connection to League server All somehow right. which sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not fully sure, but like that's that's so cool. It's so oh my cool. gosh, top comment! Now if they could do something about their community. That would be great. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> shots fired. Um, there are a couple other things. Mm. Not too many things. Um, there, there. You know, CES 2015. We talked about it last time, where we were like, oh look, that's happening. We'll be able to talk about it next week. We can talk about it. Um, yeah. The uh, one of the biggest things was that Nico. That one of the biggest things that's relevant to us was that you've heard of the company Nico. I'm not fully sure yeah. what other stuff they, they do, other than this. They've made some cheapo stuff for the Xbox. Yeah, they just make sort of. They I'm weren't not sure, really electronic stuff. Accessories for consoles. That's where yeah. I know. But. Normally gaming, you're gaming like, yeah. Accessories. Normally you're like, who freaking cares about that? But this is actually useful. Right. It they developed a way I mean, to use an external hard to use a full size hard drive on P cool. on a PS4. Like so like, a, yeah, you sort of link it, of it. Yeah, you put it on top of the PS4 and then connect it to the power thing on the back, so you don't even have to have an mm. extra power thing, and you just put a full size thing in there, so you can have a freaking two terabyte hard drive with like way cheaper. Right. So that's the really good. Is, like, good thing you haven't is... upgraded yours yet, because you could do yeah. that and it'll be super cheap, and you'll have more space. Where am I gonna put my t TV? What do you mean? I put my TV on top of my PS4. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's sitting on your PS4? You were here. Yeah, I know. I didn't look at that. I'm like, I'm kind oh of gosh. shocked as to how I didn't see that. Like, I have like a two-pound TV on top of my PS4. I mean, yeah, that would just make it. It's a small, <laughs> it's a small TV, so I'll give you that. But it's still, man, just yeah. sitting it on top it of the console. If, <laughs> okay, if I had it anywhere else, it would take up a lot more space. That's the only reason I'm doing it is because I need space. Mm. Okay. And it works. Okay. It works really well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we had heating problems. It only covers like six inches of space yeah uh, mine just stands vertically my ps4 mine stands vertically over to the right just stands there but um just it stands right next to my pc 
That's what I do with mine. Mine oh, stands yeah. right next to my PC. All the cables link around to in the back to here. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. But you should definitely do that eventually if you uh, if you run out of space. That would be the way uh, to go. It'd be way cheap. If I um, if I ever come to the point where I yeah run out of space. You, I bet you money you're getting sort of close. Not re not super close, well, like but like you probably have like a hundred and hundred and fifty left. That would be my guess. But, um, yeah, CES happened. Like, a lot of the stuff that was shown is stuff that is not relevant to us. Like, I don't really, I don't know. I don't really right. care about 8K TVs. Well, there's that, a lot of, like, technology buy. stuff, like uh, drones and yeah. uh, the, the LG phone that bends. Yeah, um, there, there was a couple of cool stuff. Um, there was, like... Yeah, there was freaking. Um, there's a new, there's a new um, Oculus type device. Yeah, a lot of this stuff uh, is just like basically right, re really ambitious technology stuff. Mm. <laughs> like, uh, let's see here. There's right. there's something called Nike confirms Back to the Future shoes with power laces are coming this that year. Stuff like that. That, is new. <laughs> yeah. that makes me happy. And then so. there's some other stuff like 12 minutes of gameplay from H1Z1. It's just sort of stuff that you should go look at. Your, okay. you, if you're watching this, you should go look at some of the stuff from uh, CES. There's not much that we yeah. can actually talk on, but a lot of this is just videos. Pizza. That, that 3D goes printed with this. pizza. 3D printed pizza. 3D printed pizza. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's, there we go. Yeah, the that, future, guys. The future. Freaking, I'm going to guess. No, well, no. 4K is slowly, like people have pre predicted, slowly becoming a thing. It's inching its way in. The prices are slowly dropping after months and months and months. So I feel like 4K is going to be a big thing. Not 2015, 2016. 4K is going to start rolling into yeah. people's houses and whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, but, um, maybe once I think once a lot of uh, uh, I don't know. I, I yeah, I mean, with a lot of movies and stuff get have, see, we don't want anything that can like yeah give use you it. 4K or like 4K. Yeah, like 4K TVs are 4K cool, movies or, but not much is shot in 4K. Yeah. 4K yeah. games, yeah. But sure, one of the watch a, a bumblebee on a flower in 4K. <laughs> a lot of YouTube videos are surprisingly shot in 4K. That's a thing. But, um, yeah, they they are. Uh, but yeah, the like I think for the thing is is 4K people will start making and shooting things in 4K once people have 4K TVs. So I think, I think in 2016 the prices will be as affordable as HGTVs are now, or similar, and I think they'll start rolling out to, like, it'll be becoming more of a popular thing, and then in 2016, probably 2017, people will start, Yeah, it'll be, like, the norm to shoot in 4K. To, to you know, shoot like a, like a camcorder. Yeah. Yep. Or with their Google Glasses, because that's what <laughs> we'll be in. That's what time period we'll be in. Um, yeah, Google. I've seen some Vloggers use uh, Google, Google Glass is like a really cool idea, you know. If they like, I think Google Glass is a couple of iterations down the line will be really freaking cool. Really, really cool. cool. Look at this car that was at CES. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I really don't know. It looks like a microwave. <laughs> like the doors. Uh, um, I yeah, yeah, yeah gotcha. uh, I'm not even sure. Oh, yeah, apparently cool. the new uh, dev kit for the Oculus. Yeah. So that it's even more in advanced. Yeah. So. Oh, here's yeah. This backs up my theory. Cool. It, there's a. It says an article here that says Sharp to offer 4K TVs under one thousand dollars. So yeah, two years, it'll be or technically a year now. It'll be. Yeah. Down. Um. Let's see. That's about it. Everything's really just video on a bunch of cool stuff. Nvidia right. launches the GTX 965M. So Nvidia's 
Razer has another their own card, another graphics card. Reality. Bunch of uh, phones. Here's a video on PlayStation Now. Um, if Play I wish PlayStation Now's pricing would go down to be like five. If freaking PlayStation Now was five dollars a month. I would m find a way to make that work, and I would have it, and I would play PS3, Uncharted 3 on that TV over there with my DualShock 4. I don't even freaking care. It would be glorious. I would freaking have another PlayStation TV, and I'd play it here as well. Yeah. Because I could. Because you could just open PlayStation now, and it would be there, and it would work. That would be a dream world. That's a dream world. Right. I've oh, I want that to be a thing. <laughs> Oh, there's also that thing, Sling TV, you know? Did you hear about that? Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. It's basically, like, I don't know, what, like 20 channels? I think it's like 20 channels. It's like 20 big channels um, for, like, 20 bucks a month. You know, you get, like, ESPN, uh, ESPN2, CNN, TNNT, and it works on, like, Xboxes and stuff. So cool. If you could pay, like, 20 bucks a month for, like... Choosing a small selection of shows or... Dude, um, yes. That would be the best. Okay. But, like, like... I want this news channel, this sports channel, and these four entertainment channels. Yeah. Done. Sling is a cool idea, but if you could choose just from regular channels and not, like, you know, just have their 20 big ones. If you could choose <laughs> ESPN, ESPN2, this would be mine. ESPN, ESPN2, um, CBS, Fox... NBC, Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, right. Nickelodeon, <laughs> CW. Yep. Boom. Because that way you get all NFL NBC. games. You get all your freaking, get all these dumb. You get the Girl Meets World. You got. <laughs> that's pretty much it. You get some Adventure Time every now and then. Um, uh, maybe ABC Family. I don't know. I don't know. Some other stuff. Um, but yeah, if you could do that, that would be legit. I would so do that. That would be cut cable. Very. Um, yeah, so CES, lots of what? cool stuff. But, okay. I wish I was there. The cool thing about Sling is that it has live TV on your tablets and mobile. Yeah, yeah it's it's live TV of those channels, but, like, with, um, you know, with right. an Xbox One or a tablet or a phone. Yeah. But I didn't hear yeah. anything about PS4, sadly. But, yeah, yeah, lots of cool stuff. I wish I was there. I wish I could go to that kind of stuff. But uh, one more thing, and then I think I'll be done. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to watch the Colts game. Hopefully we'll beat the Broncos. Probably not, but you can be hopeful. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, if even if the Colts do lose, we still yeah. can ch chant for a uh, pain. Yeah, see, like, my thing is, is that every, like, if the Broncos are on and they're not playing the Colts, I go for the Broncos. So I'm okay right. if they win. It's, like, it's... It's not it as bad as if they answer. lost to the Patriots. <laughs> like, if they lost to the Patriots, I'd be like, dang it. But in this, I'm like, all right. Yeah. Accept it. It's okay. Move um, on. You should look at that picture I sent on Facebook of uh, that same car. <laughs> Is it, like, open? Like, the door's opened or something? Uh, no, it's a different view of it. Oh. <laughs> let, me, let me take a look at this. I don't, it's a Mercedes, apparently. Dumb Mercedes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't understand. Why is it even a thing? Oh wait. Let me open this. I mean, gosh, you would go fast because of that aerodynamic stuff, but you look like a freaking <laughs> my little penis. The heck? What's with the lights in the front? Why are they purple? <laughs> Why are there purple? so many dots? I and uh, uh, it's I don't interesting. Know, but... It's not a horrible yeah, looking a car, but. Like, why? We don't need it. I don't know. But, <laughs> okay, let's just discuss the Batman v Superman leak, which has now been confirmed to be fake because it was obviously fake. But there was a thing. Did you see this? Oh. Mate? No. M90? There, there was a Batman v Superman leak that was, like, basically leak. It was a picture that somebody took of, like, the teaser trailer that they had seen oh. that uh, they had been talking about that at the end... It said, like, Batman v Superman, and then there were two dates and two movies. So the rumor was that it was being split into two movies, 
which would be Gosh, kind of a bummer. But at the same time, the first one was in the date for the first one was 2015, like late 2015. Yeah. So I'd be okay with that because we'd get it earlier. But it's not a thing. So yeah, not much to talk about now. But I had it on the list because it broke earlier in the week. But uh, <laughs> yeah, not much to talk about. I'm fine. I, ca- I cannot wait for that movie. I'm fine having that in one movie. Dang, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be cool. But then again, what I really freaking can't wait for is The Flash and Arrow and The 100 to come back. Right. Hmm. Having... So many shows coming back, and then I have to go back to school. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I I Ugh. technically have to start doing uh, math uh, and a couple other small You're stuff. You're applying for jobs. Yeah, and, and I got to get a job. I'm thinking of Fun. applying to Publix. Because why not? It's a nice, clean place. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's really close to my house. It's like yeah. less than five minutes away, which nice. is a plus for gas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I have to do that. <laughs> right. Yeah. I I've know. heard – I have a friend who works there, and they say, she says that they have good – Okay. Good stuff. Cool. Yeah. Um, do you have anything random to show us today? I actually uh, do if you don't. Yeah, I do. Uh, we can both do this. Okay. Because I can – you got uh, – this is a keychain from GameStop. I got oh, this dude. on the midnight release of Destiny. That's legitimate. And I was playing Halo. I was wrecking kids on Halo 3. Wrecking kids. At the TVs there. Taking names. And they're like, hey, we'll throw this everywhere. And I, I grabbed <laughs> You're like, it's mine now. This. So, yeah. Uh, that, dude. That's, that's... I got this from the from the Destiny thing. Got that. Oh, yeah. I, I got mine, too. It's over and my backpack because I use it as the flash one. card holder. <laughs> so jiggly. Okay. I but, used to have I used to have like um, this much of those like in middle school. Yeah. Sure, it up, like, you thought you were cool with those, dude. Yeah. I remember there was like always one kid that has like all these wristbands. <laughs> right. That, I was that kid. I was that dude, kid. Do you remember those wristbands Silly that bands. were like do, Silly do, bands. Yeah. Do you remember? The, the the ones that had the shapes. Or animals. Yeah. Animals. Dude. Yeah, silly bands. And you used to like trade them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I yes. used to like trade them. I'm like, well, you I get a dinosaur. I want the dinosaur. The alligator. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, uh, yeah. Well, I have an advertisement for you guys, sponsored by. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, <laughs> but legitimately, I bought these the other day. The best thing ever. If you're having freaking trouble sleeping, is buy melatonin. Melatonin. Oh, yep. it's the best thing ever, dude. Look. They're gummies. <laughs> They're gummies. They're gummies. What? What is life? Where do you I find know. these? Okay, seriously, they tell me where public, you find I'm these. Sure. I look, I look for them, and I can't find anything. <laughs> One's stuck on the bottom. It won't get off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fail. I got it off. Okay, but um, I don't know why that mattered. But yeah, seriously, this is the best thing ever. Take like. This is five milligrams if you take two gummies. So I just take one gummy, and it works perfectly, and I go to sleep in like okay. twenty minutes. But um. Yeah, I haven't had those. Normally, I use them, like, every couple of days if I can't sleep. It's rare, but I they're like a backup plan. But I hadn't had them no forever. Plan. Yeah, no backup plan. But um, I had them forever, and then I stopped having them for, like, a month. And I, I like, it, like, bothered me that I didn't have them. So I, I had a bunch of problems in the past couple of month, months. But it's all good now. It's all good because they're <laughs> gummies. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're the best thing ever. But um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna gonna stop the podcast, and we'll be back next week with hopefully some more stuff. CES happened, so we might not have as many things to talk about. But yeah. yeah. But then again, we talked about Uncharted Four for like thirty minutes, so we, right. <laughs> we can talk about anything. But uh, sure. yeah. Bye bye.